Bulgaria's Prime Minister hasn't given any interviews in this election campaign, just photo opportunities where the only camera allowed is from his own team. Boyko Borisov governs an EU country where, according to the US State Department, there's little judicial independence, there are arbitrary arrests and journalists are threatened with violence. In Sunday's election, he could well retain his grip on this former satellite of the Soviet Union. And it takes long for um, democratic attitudes to mature, but on the other hand, there are concrete uh, uh, experiences of the Bulgarians over the past three decades and the fact that they have not be, been able to reap the benefits that a democratic system in theory uh, should provide, so they have become disenchanted. More of the polled Bulgarians, that is to say 45%, would prefer a model of uh, strongman uh, leadership. Last summer, several months of anti-corruption protests were the biggest challenge to Borisov. They started after an opposition leader tried to set foot on a public beach that had been sealed off for use by one of Bulgaria's most powerful men. Hristo Ivanov says the EU ignores the corruption here because Borisov's party is allied with the largest centre-right coalition in the European Parliament. Borisov is not an ideologue. He doesn't uh, uh, sort of make any political pronouncement. He is a silent practitioner of authoritarianism, of, of corruption. The European People's Party, the, the elite in Brussels and in Berlin, frankly, we will need to understand that they, they cannot afford any longer to close, the, to turn a blind eye to what is happening in, in Sofia. Any protests now are tiny in comparison. That's part fears of COVID, part resignation. And a former prime minister says the EU ignores at its peril what is happening here. The transparency of use of the funds has to be put on a new rules. It comes that uh, the abundance of the financing from the European Union became a source for corruption, not for development of the country. The European Commission says corruption is a major obstacle to development in Bulgaria. The latest polls give the Prime Minister's party around a 28% share of the vote. The opposition socialists are trailing around 8% behind. Political experts here say there could be a government of national unity. If that's the case, then Boyko Borisov, as head of the largest party, will keep his job as Prime Minister. Bernard Smith, Al Jazeera, Sofia.